good out today. I um uh, one shit, two shoes. Crazy less. I uh when I was working I uh, you know I quit my job and everything and uh but when I was still working there I was uh guy who prompted me always to go to the theater like so I was going to Harkins all the time like because with uh God said when I was awakened that I have my that I have eagle eyes you know I'm seeing things in this I'm seeing every the world in the spirit realm so I'm seeing the spirit it's crazy the way that God communicates to us it's like a different language it's not just like we just we're on dumbed down language you know words just words you know like uh there's no really no way to explain it unless you have the holy spirit in you and you are uh, and you have eagle eyes you know and you get a and you not only just see but you hear and you feel everything everything and everything is uh everything is communication but uh, anyway, I uh, let's go to Harkins because the movies were wild. Movies were crazy. You make me go watch a movie, certain movie, and uh, that shit was like he was talking to me through the movie. Movies just ain't the same no more once you have eagle eyes. They just ain't the same. So, uh, man, motherfuckers was looking at me like I was crazy as hell because I was like, I was amped. I was in it. I fucking, you know, I was hella emotional, like fucking... Some some shit would uh come that should make tears come out. They make me fucking laugh. They make me cry again. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking uh, shit was crazy. But uh, so my lesson uh that he's teaching me with this through this whole uh through this whole part was that I uh fucking you know he's teaching me love, forgiveness, humility, fucking like a whole bunch of shit, man. All wrapped up in one. Me, I always just do something. I thought that was just me being dumb, but I know it was. You know, I was kind of speaking in tongues after a few hours. No more markets, only motion. God put that. God's messages in that was so cold. I would, and, and he let me watch that shit in the theater all by myself. There was nobody in the theater by myself. You know what I'm saying? I was in there. I was, I was fucking making all kinds of noise. I was laughing my ass off. I was running back. I was giving high fives to the fucking to the seats. I was giving high fives to the seats. You know what I'm saying? Running down up and down the aisle and shit. Shit, there was nobody in there. You know what I'm saying? I was hell excited. There's no words. I can't even put into words this shit, baby. I'm trying to. So, uh. Oh, shit. Die bomb. Beautiful today. Uh. Anyway. So, uh, I go watch Jumanji, and, uh, then the next day, I'm going in, and, uh, no, he tells me to watch Death Wish. Or no, no, I want to watch uh, 420, The Train to Paris or whatever. You know, that shit was dumb. I didn't even get the, that shit was dumb tired too. He was talking to me and that shit too. It was fucking, man, that shit was crazy. Man. It's, uh, but, you know, like halfway through the movie, you know, the the people from the theater from Harkins, uh, oh, it was in, uh, was it? in Gilbert. And these uh, they come up to me and tell me, hey, can I come out to step out? And I'm thinking that maybe it's because I have my backpack, you know what I'm saying? I have my backpack because uh, I didn't want to stay at my apartment because I was uh, I was doing the thing for God, you know. I was he was making me do things, you know. I was on my walkabout, you know. Still, it was like uh, so there was no 
reason for me. I didn't want to stay at the apartment. I didn't want to be around drugs and shit. I didn't want to, I didn't care about that shit. I was, uh, you know, chasing the high of this, uh, of what was happening to me, the awakenings. So, uh, that's what I think, you know, they pulled me out, boom, uh, cops is out there in the hallway talking about that, you know, they wanted to search me, search all my shit because they said that when I had watched Jumanji, that I had, uh, put both my arms back on the seats. That I was like, yeah, I said, and I was, uh, you know, I was chilling shit. They said that I had reached out around and uh, that they have me on camera that I had stuck two stick pins, two needles in the in the, the seats that I had my arms around and that when the next the next uh, showing of the movie that two people had poked their heads on these needles and uh, they're charging me with assault and uh, bodily injury or some other some other shit, you know what I'm saying? The people wanted to press charges and I'm like well, yeah, so you can search my shit. I didn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Or they didn't, they hadn't told me yet that they had the video yet. They just told me that, that there's a camera in there recording and they, that they had seen me reach around, reach my arms around on seats like that. So, uh, yeah, search me, you know, whatever. I said, no, nah, I wouldn't hurt anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a man of God. You know, I wouldn't do that. That's, that's a matter of fact, that's pretty fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? I hope that you catch the motherfucker who did it. And, uh, you know, because he's, you know, somebody needs to paddle his ass. And uh, cause that's pretty weird. And he says, uh, well, it's pretty weird that you that you happen to sit in between the two seats with the needles. And you didn't. I said, yeah, I said, man, thank God. You know, thank God. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, looking out for me. So I didn't poke my damn head. I appreciate it, God. Thank you. You know, search me, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm cooperate with him. You know, go ahead and let him go through their, do their old thing. Out in front of everybody, in front of the Harkins, I ain't tripping, you know, because you know, I didn't do, I know I didn't do anything, so. But they don't find nothing in my army or anything like that, let me go, you know what I'm saying? Told me, uh, you know, even the Harkins, it was like, uh, okay, you know, well, you can still come back and watch movies, just, uh, you know, just so let us take a picture of you so we can put it up so, uh, you know, our employees can be aware when you're in there. Theater. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't hurt my feelings, you know, I'm already uh, been awakened, you know, I'm already past some level, so, you know, something that is offensive that I would usually have been like, man, fuck your mama, bitch, slap the fucking taste out of his mouth, that's uh, different now, I'm like, yeah, it's fine, you know what I'm saying, I do a couple poses for him, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying, thank you, you know, appreciate it, hope you catch the guy, gone. So, the next day, I go and uh, buy two tickets, buy me a ticket to watch Deadwood. So after I get off work, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I go uh, buy a ticket to Death Wish and uh, I go to McDonald's, boom. So I'm uh, chilling way to grass because it don't start for like an hour and a half. So I'm like, uh, kind of doze off. I wake up to two cops holding my arms down on the grass, you know, like, Like, uh, I don't know, man. It seemed kind of funny, like they wanted to see, you know, so I could go ahead and wake up and be like, what the fuck? And then that gives them the ticket to beat my head in. <laughs> this is what it all sounds like. But I just opened my eyes because it's crazy. Some kid at work, I don't even know, came up to me and said, hey, man, fucking be good, man. Don't go to jail. It was pretty weird that he would say something like that. Like, you know, I don't talk to this dude and shit. Like, uh, okay. You know, that was, uh, that's all I remember in my head when I felt some arm, something holding my arms down was don't go to jail. So I my eyes and say, hey, what's up? They fucking like, hey, man, well, we have a video of you definitely sticking the pins in the seats. So uh, you're under arrest. And I was like, well, cool. Let's go to jail then since you got the video. So they take me to jail and charge me with it. And, uh, you know, the judge ORs me. Boom, I get out. You know, I have to go, you know, go do the whole thing where I'm like, huh, you got all the stuff that I own, you know, because everything else is at my, 
at my apartment that I don't want anything to do with anymore. Uh, have to go and get my stuff from evidence, you know, go through the whole thing, you know, it's a, something that would piss me off before, but, you know, on that piece of it, you know, I already been walking the path, so, uh, man, uh, like, what would you say, I go to the crazy hospital, you know, again, because, you know, somebody else, boom, suggests shit, so, I gotta take the suggestion, even though I didn't want to again. I was like, man, I don't, like, why you guys keep making me go to the crazy hospital? They keep just giving me pills for no damn reason when I'm telling you, you guys are talking to me. Why does it, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta do it. So I gotta obey. Go to crazy hospital, miss the court day that they set me. And uh, a little bit after I, uh, you know, after I get out of the crazy hospital, I end up uh, bumping into these. So I end up, uh, what'd I do? Oh yeah. So, uh, I'm still out, you know, on my foot, on my foot soldier thing, just doing what God tells me, you know, walking around, having clean up thing. I don't know the plan. I don't know the plan. All I know is that I'm just supposed to obey. Just go. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's brewing and anybody who thinks that they do know what's brewing, you should slap yourself five times in the face real hard. Slap yourself because you're dumb if you think you fucking can figure out any fucking thing and why would you even waste your fucking brain power on it because you're, your brain is fucking a pile of dog shit compared to fucking what God is uh, planning. I don't know shit. I'm just doing what I'm told. So, uh, it's unfathomable. Google that shit. Google that shit and slap yourself five times so it sticks. And, uh, baby uh yeah so i'm going uh oh yeah so i go visit my brother my one of my little brothers and my little nieces and shit and uh you know fucking hooks me up with some with some stuff which is obviously blessing from god you know to give me you know boom i go i'm chilling on a bench i'm you know i chop it up with some with the young kid you know who's out there getting signatures for a job first job, you know, and, uh, you know, he sits at the bus stop for me, with me for like two hours, just asking me questions, and, uh, that's what my other job is, what my main job is, is light worker, light bearer, light warrior, whatever you want to call it, INFJ, impact, it don't really matter what you call it, you know what I'm saying, it's all under God, I'm working for God, best boss ever, best job I ever had, you know, uh, I just plant seeds, you know what I'm saying, I'm like a little, dropping little little ducats, little seeds in people's dome. That's all I'm doing. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm chilling at a bus stop and I, you know, I just crash out. Boom. Fucking Mesa PD, you know, come and, uh, do their, you know, hey man, you got a, yeah, I don't have ID, but this is my shit. Boom. Okay. You got a warrant for this failure to appear. I'm like, all right, cool. That's pretty fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? That you would, that. You out here arresting motherfuckers for being homeless and shit. And, uh, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with the job description that you swore on the Bible to do, protect and serve. You say, oh, you're protecting this bus stop. You're protecting the world from people being out, out down on their luck and, and having to fucking find a place to fucking sleep because they don't got a home and shit. And you out here fucking, oh, well, let me meet my quota with what I have to fucking do and let me put this motherfucking useless body in a fucking bed that's owned by some fucking cocksucker, I mean, uh, some dickhead, and, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me for that, and, uh, I'm not judging him, but fuck him, sorry about that too, and, uh, you know, so that body could make some money, you know, plugged into the matrix, man, it's fucking, it's gotta be used for something, you gotta be useful, you know, you're a battery, make money, you know, fucking make money, extend your energy, your energy for money, your fucking, your body's made of energy, fucking. but anyway, past that shit, that cop, I love him, but he could kiss my ass, you know what I'm saying, he knows that, he knows after I shot that shit out, I'm like, it's pretty funny that you would fucking arrest a homeless, man. but, you know, never mind that shit, because you already know what it is. Cops know, cops know, you, you know who you are, 
you know who you are and you know the price you're gonna pay when judgment day comes because you swore on God. You swore on God, protected. You swore on God. It's your ass, boy. That's your ass. You know who you are. You know I still love you, but that's your ass. You better do something. You better figure something out. And uh anyway, uh so I go to jail. They the judge takes my uh, yeah, I'm telling them, hey, man, I was in a, in the hospital, you know what I'm saying, at the time, failure to appear. Okay, whatever, gives me a, what is it, like a $50 bond and shit, <laughs> $50, you know. So, I realized that it's a, you know, okay, this is a lesson, this is where I'm learning, like, okay, I see what's going on here, because the ridiculousness of my charge and shit, and now I've got to go to fucking to the towers, is uh, it's definitely got to be a lesson in here, you know, some kind of he's teaching me something. You know, this when it started, I was like, cool. Well, let's fucking get this tower. It's cool. This is fucking cool. I can't wait to fucking see what all this, this is all about. Cause at the end of him teaching me something, and when it's like boom, and this is what he taught you, he's like, this is it. Man, the motherfucker starts to feels like you want to dance and shit, and fucking you want to tell somebody like well, you just fucking learned some amazing ass shit and how you learned it, but. It wouldn't even matter, you know. You can't, you can't tell somebody about the Matrix. They have to see it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't fucking make somebody. See. You can't make somebody see some shit because their beliefs are just gonna fucking. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, that's weird. That's crazy. Ah. Uh, you know, that's a. Uh, that's all they. You know what I'm saying? They, their body, their mind doesn't reach anywhere. They're the motherfucking muggles. They're the muggles. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Hogwarts, nigga. I'm in Hogwarts. <laughs> it's a muggle. You don't believe shit, so you can't see shit. But anyway, so they take me to court. You know, they lock me up, you know, $50 bond. I'm just, I'm just chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. They tell me, uh, you no, know, we're going to uh, go to, since like a week later, they tell me, you're going to, uh, we're going to release you. If you sign your plea, we'll give you three years, unsupervised probation. This bitch is holding up the damn, sorry. She's holding up the uh, the paper, like, you know, like she's giving me a, a present. Like, three years unsupervised probation, which means you're your own PO, okay? And, and we're going to let you out later on today. How does that sound? I said, well, that sounds fucking, fucking mighty fucking fine. I'd love to fucking get out of fucking this shit shithole eating your fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and uh and that fucking what is that slop shit that shit is fucking i got pretty tasty though got pretty tasty to me you know, fucking, not, you know it's pretty good after a while but uh you know i'd love to but that would mean that i would have to sign this fucking paper and lie not only to the fucking to the fat boy judge i'm not judging him but he's I like fat, fat boy judges. Fuck them, but I love them. Forgive me, look. And uh, I say, I can't go and lie to the judge. And that would mean that I'd have to also lie to God. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to be sworn, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna, that I told the truth, so I'm gonna lie and say that I did some shit that I didn't do so I can get the fuck out. And you're gonna punish me for that shit that I didn't do? Doesn't sound like a good deal to me, so uh, I'm just gonna have to say uh, speedy trial. You know, I wanna bought my rights to a speedy trial. So uh, she's like, okay, we're gonna give you the. Uh, all right, she's kind of like face turned all red, like she's like, what the fuck is going on? So boom, um, take me back to jail, leave me in there for fucking another fucking week. I'm waiting for the trial. It's like fuck. It's supposed to be three weeks after that. Speedy trial. Uh, they take me back to court again. I see some dude. I'm like thinking like, what? I think I'm thinking they're gonna let me out because they're probably like, what the fuck? This shit is ridiculous. I'm thinking they're gonna let me out. <clears throat> so uh, he tells me, he shows me the same paper. I'm like, hey, wait, what the fuck is this plea agreement shit again for this same shit when I said that I wanted a speedy trial? He said, 
Oh yeah. Uh, well, I was just uh, making sure that you didn't, you know, you didn't want to just go ahead and, ch and change your mind, cause uh, you know, he's like, I said, man, I said, look, you don't even know the fucking story. I said they said that some motherfuckers got poked in the head, so now they're gonna have to get find some people that say that 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 shit happened to him. He said, yeah, they'll be there at court. I said, okay, cool. I said, plus, they said they have a video of me doing it. He fucking flips up a piece of paper on his little thing, and, sh and sh there's a DVD that says Harkins, Harkins and Marcus Allen or some shit on that motherfucker. He's like, yeah, I have, I have the video right here. I said, oh, okay, I see what this is. I see what this is. You're my public defender. Okay. <laughs> I said, well, if you have the video right there, then I definitely want to go to trial. You know, this motherfucker's like, oh, all right, he's good. He's like, I don't know why you're getting mad at me. I said, I'm not getting mad at you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just excited that this shit is happening. You know, I said, uh, so he's like, yeah, all right, well, then, uh, whatever. I'll just let him know that you didn't want to and, uh, you know, go through with the, with the trial. I was like, cool. I started having to, this motherfucker gets around the corner. And I hear him say, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm a free thinker, motherfucker. I'm awake. I'm awake. You ain't just gonna fucking tell me any old bullshit. And I'm not a product of fucking fear anymore, man. God saved me. God is with me. Why would I be scared of you and your bullshit? So many people fucking sign those fucking pleas. You lie when you sign those fucking pleas just so you can get the fuck out. Man, take that shit to trial. Take that shit to trial. Everybody take that shit to trial. Unless you did that shit, then you better go ahead and just take, take your medicine because... You lie to God in court, fuck everything else. You lie to God, that's just gonna come back to you. It's just gonna come back to you. That's gonna that's the fucking worst thing you can fucking do. If you didn't do some shit that don't fucking, then don't sign no shit saying you did. Go to trial. God knows, God knows if you do what's good, if you do what's right, God is gonna bless you. You know, God is gonna bless you for through through. You went through the fear of saying, fuck, if I take this shit to trial, they're going to fuck me over, man. They're going to fucking bend me over backwards and fucking and put it in me. No. If you didn't do that shit, don't sign that shit. Don't let them keep sign. You sign and you plead to what you did. No, other than that, don't fucking be scared. Of what, out five to seven years and all that bullshit, take it to trial. Go to trial. You know what I'm saying? Go to trial. Have faith in God and go to trial. Have faith in God that you're doing what is right in God's eyes and go to trial. You know what I'm saying? Let him hang. Let him hang, man. God's got you. So anyway, uh, as I, you know, send me back to the fucking to the towers, stay there for a couple more weeks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, boom, trial day comes. I'm like, hell yeah. Man, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. God is a uh, God's got me feeling some type of way. I already know. I'm like, man, I just can't wait to see what he does. How how this shit goes down. And if if they do fucking if some shit does pop up and I and I am fucking on the video fucking uh doing that shit. Glory to God. You know what I'm saying? That's my path. That's what uh that's what I'm for. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta if I turned around turned down. 30 days, 30 year, three years unsupervised probation, and I get fucking 30 years in prison, then glory to God. You know, I still love, not, you know what I'm saying? That's my purpose. You know, all glory to God. Man, I go to trial, and, uh, ran dope. Glory to God, run me over. <laughs> and, uh, sitting in the holding tank, waiting for them to call me. Boom, the cop that arrested me comes down and tells me some bulls, you know, hey man, you know that they're, uh, I don't know if they told you yet, but they're, they're going to dismiss it. <laughs> like, like, nah, they didn't tell me nothing. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but in Florida, for you dismiss it, because they're, the heart, they're upstairs and shit, the, you know, because the lady, first it was two, two dudes, they said, got poked in the head, now it's a, it's a lady, the lady who got poked in her head is, uh, out of state. And uh, so she's not going to make it. So they're just going to dismiss it. And uh, but you can't return to Harkins. You can never go to any Harkins again. I'm like, what the fuck for? I said, that doesn't seem fucking fair. He's like, any place can refuse service for any reason. I'm like, that seems kind of fucked up. You know, it doesn't seem right at all. What the fuck kind of shit is that? So you can say, man, this, I don't like how long this motherfucker's nose is. Get him the fuck out of here. You know, he's trespassing. That doesn't make any sense. Especially since all I did was enjoy the blessings that God gave me to go watch movies at Harkins and I was a 
You know, I'm a customer. I'm a good customer. What the fuck? And you accuse me of some some bullshit. I don't know if anybody got poked in the head or not. I'm not calling anybody a fucking liar. You know, I'm not calling anybody a liar. But it wasn't me, and it was proven in court. I took it to trial, and I won. But I can't go to the Harkins anymore anywhere, which is really fucked up. And they could, yeah, they could just, uh, they can refuse service to anybody anywhere anytime for any reason what in the fuck is that shit so you know a little butt butt chapped about that you know but i'll be all right and uh you know got a you know it's like boom they're all scared now because i could sue the fucking i could sue the the city i could sue them for false imprisonment all that bullshit every day that i was in there I could sue, and I could sue the dog shit out of uh, Harkins Theaters. I could sue the dog shit. I could take a, I could fuck up, get a lawyer, take him to court. You know, uh, for all that shit, get me paid. You know what I'm saying? Get paid. I'm on the streets. I can get paid. I can get paid. God uh, taught me. You know that shit was like, no, I don't want to do that shit. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? You know, somebody. One of my family members even told me, well, you still not, just because you sue him doesn't mean you're not forgiving. It's about what's right. No, what would Jesus do? You know, Jesus ain't going to do it. Jesus ain't suing nobody. No, Jesus ain't suing nobody, man. He forgot, right? he forgave even the mother, the mothers that killed him, man. That, that man doesn't know where in, it, in there it says that we can hate somebody for any reason. We can't even hate. We can't even hate Satan. Who the hell said anything about hating anybody? We can't hate Satan. We can't judge nobody. God is a judge and revenge is God's. You know, we just got to be love, love to everybody. It doesn't matter what they do to you. You know, it could have been that those motherfuckers see me in there with a backpack and figure this fucking dirty ass motherfucker right here should be having a good time laughing his ass off fucking watching these movies and he's having way too good of a time i don't like him his nose is big you know let's fucking make up some bullshit and get him fucked you know make up some shit that's better than that if you're gonna do that that's just fucking retarded because you would have had to find two real fucking scumbag motherfuckers to 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 corroborate that fucking story that they got stabbed in the head by some all that bullshit you know and uh you know, I forgive them. I forgive Harkins. I forgive all those people, man. I love them all, man. Shit, I don't know what happened to them to make them that way, to make them, you know, maybe maybe somebody that looked like me used to flip them over in the, in the bathroom when they were in school and flush their head in the toilet. I don't know. You know, it's a lot better when I was a kid, when that shit used to happen, getting pushed, getting flat tired and getting your leg kicked and your ears flicked. These motherfuckers these days are sticking brooms and mops up kids' asses. What the fuck? Yeah, shit's fucked up. But anyway, forgiveness, man. Forgiveness, man. For, for everything, man. It doesn't matter what happens, man. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do, man? Would Jesus do that? Nah, probably not. Would Jesus do this? Nah, probably not. You know what I'm saying? You, every situation, you know, it brings you closer to God. It brings you, you can hear him better. You know, like Meek Mill said, man, he knows that, he knows there's levels to this shit. There's levels to this spirit, spirituality shit, getting close to God, getting close to him and hearing him and turning up, turning up your volume, you know, turn up the volume, to hear him, you know, be selfless, you know, be, uh, you know, be like Christ, be like Christ, obey God. The first thing you hear, the first, your first thought, never rethink anything. And the first thought is, is what they call your conscious, but that is God your first thought so when you start rethinking shit that's when you're trying to fucking go off of it. and that's why when your first thought is usually something that you don't want to fucking do like ah well let me think about that you know, fucking, let me think about this some of mm, maybe i'll just uh man god told me in a song what is it by uh he, he showed me that shit with uh he says, don't think about rethinking don't think about rethinking just uh, just do, you know, do what you first thought, you know, your conscience tell you, God tells you. Uh, you know, forgive it and forget. Peace.
Hey, it's you, baby. Oh, shit. And, uh, yeah, do fucking you. Do, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do, because the end is coming. The end is coming, and that shit is fucking, man. You're missing the journey to the end, man. You're missing the journey to the end. No fear, man. You know what's coming. It's fucking fantastic, man. This shit is the fucking shit. This shit is shit to know that we're everything and we're all one. And, and the oneness and, uh, you know, that God uses everybody for different reasons. Everybody's got a purpose, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fucking sick, you know. Like, my, my life is not any less. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking so happy, man. I'm so happy. And, uh, see, material shit is... I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't really got shit. Material possessions, but man, I'm so fucking happy with the material shit. If you could drop fucking hundred million dollars on me right now, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd get that shit away. I'd get that shit away. And people that need that shit, I don't need that shit. God gives me everything that I need. You know, gives me a, gives me the little day labor job. You know, exercise on. You know, humble myself and uh, work on my humble, my humbleness. And, uh, you know, have a roof over my head, you know, uh, a bed, and to eat some good ass shit, vegan shit, baby. Fresh fruits, vegetables, and, and, and grains, man. Fucking stop eating God's creatures. Stop eating his fucking creatures, stupid fucks. Thou shalt not kill. Don't matter if you killed it. If you killed it, bitch, you're eating it. Stop fucking eating and killing God's creatures. All of them. He didn't say thou shalt not kill people. If you kill people, you better stop killing people too. Thou shalt not kill any fucking thing. That's not, it ain't yours to kill. You think it is then fucking bye bye asshole. Yeah, I, I realized why, uh, why God told me that I was going to be the light and the dark. It's just my purpose. That's just the purpose that he gave me. I'm going to let the light shine through me, but still a little bit dark. Still a little bit dark the way I say it. <laughs> so, shit. Yeah. Beep, beep, motherfucker. I'm out.